Hey friends, this is Kathy, and I'm so glad that you're back. Um, I am doing a little collaboration with some very crafty ladies, probably a lot craftier than me. <laughs> and our theme is sunflowers. So um, I'm gonna do a couple of little quickie little crafts. I'm not um, talented enough to do intricate things. Um, I like to play around with crafts, but I can't say that that's my strong point. So um, today uh, we're gonna be making some felt flowers and um, I'm gonna lead you through that process. And these are super easy. Uh, so let's get started. Now in the past, I have tried to make felt flowers, just cutting them out myself. My daughter is much more talented at that. So yes, I cheated and I bought a little kit to make some. Um, these are the felt pieces that are already cut out. We've got different shades of yellow and different sizes. And those right there. And then um, it also came with some pre-cut leaves to hot glue on, uh, various sizes of the little center part, and then it's got a little back to put on it. And then if you so choose, uh, it's got the little stems that you can add to it. So um, let's get started and see what we can do here, you guys. I made, I made one sample one. I think that's cute. And here we go. Hold on to your hats. It's going to be fast. I ordered these felt flowers from Amazon, and I will link that in the description box if you are interested. Um, this is just a little kit. It would be fun to do with your kids or your grandkids, too. But everything else that we're using in this project, which is going to eventually turn into a cute little fall wreath, came from uh, Dollar Tree. So let's get these flowers done and then we'll move on to the wreath. This is just one of the small wreaths that I got from Dollar Tree, and I got this cute sunflower ribbon at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna wrap part of it with uh, the sunflower ribbon, and then I've got some burlap ribbon with lace on it that I'm gonna be wrapping the rest of it with. Now I'm, I'm using the burlap ribbon with the lace on it, which I think is really sweet. Um, you do have to, you know, anchor it down with some hot glue and then you have to pull it fairly tight and you want there to be sort of a little pattern. So you have to be aware of where you're placing your ribbon each time you lap it around or wrap it around uh, the wreath. We are now finishing up on wrapping the wreath form, and then we'll start putting all the pieces together. I am hot gluing down the flowers, the felt flowers that I made, and I'm securing them pretty good with quite a bit of hot glue, so it's gonna, I don't want them to fall off. I don't want them to pop off after I've made this wreath. So that's looking pretty cute so far. Um, here it goes. We've got our three sunflowers down at the bottom. And now I've got some leaves that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna hot glue one on each side of the top of the, of the wreath. And that's where I'm gonna place a little bow that I made. Thank you. 
the bow that I made uh, was made out of ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree, y'all. So uh, this is a real easy bow. I just take some strips and I secure them in the center and I just floof them up and that is it. And then look at this hedgehog ribbon. I just love it. So I hot glued the ribbon, but I felt like it still needed to be anchored down a little bit more. So I took my little cute hedgehog ribbon, which I love and um, tied that up. And so that'll also give me a little place to hang it when I get ready to hang my little wreath. I'm excited. So here is the finished product. I did want to tie in all the colors with the bows and uh, with, the, um, with the sunflower. So I added um, just some little different colored leaves, a packet of leaves that I got at Dollar Tree again, you guys. So this project has mostly been a Dollar Tree project. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you like my little wreath and I tried my best. I'm not the best at crafting, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. So friends, this is just a little quickie project that I did. Um, I got these little tin buckets and they're cute. It says, hello pumpkin. It's got a little pumpkin on it. And I got those at uh, Dollar General. And I had, I got some foam, some floral foam at Dollar Tree. Now I did get um, all of these stems from uh, Hobby Lobby, I will say that. So I did, you know, I'm using a little higher quality uh, stems for this, but uh, just made a little sunflower arrangement and I think it's just as cute as it can be. So that is a super fast, super quick sunflower project if you are so inclined. <music>